I mean, we are, we are down to about 15 players, to be honest, and so we're probably one injury away from having to completely reshuffle the lineup. So from that standpoint, um, there's, a, there's a lot of risk right now, but we've been in fantastic form. There's a great result against Charleston away from home. And I think uh, a win against Montreal Saturday could potentially put us top of the whole league. So there's a lot of motivation. I think we're fresh enough to, uh, to make that happen. Yeah, no, I thought we played really well. You know, we did change it up to try and keep a, a few players fresh. So hopefully you'll see the benefit of that Saturday night against Montreal. Um, but overall, I thought we played well. I thought we should have won in the end. We were very strong coming on the last 20 minutes. Had a goal disallowed that there was definitely a goal. So a little unlucky from that standpoint. And Charleston's a, a tough place to go. Nobody's beat Charleston down there yet. So for us, um, it's a good point. And the advantage we have also is that our last game against them is at home. So we get the ability to play at home to hopefully uh, win the tiebreaker. I think they're attack. They've got a lot of... Um, fast, dynamic attacking players. Their, their front four are very fluid, they interchange well, uh, maybe haven't been quite as productive in front of goal as they would like. I think they're cer certainly vulnerable on the counter-attack. And again, they're, they're a team who plays exactly the same way as most of the other MLS teams. They play in a 4-2-3-1, they like to press. And I think the good thing is they haven't been to Richmond in the 90 degree humidity yet, so it's going to be a big advantage for us. I mean, I, I highly unlikely you're going to see any Montreal MLS roster players down here for the game. I'd be very surprised if that happens. Um, I've looked at their lineup. It's been a very consistent over the last couple of games. They're trying to develop these these younger um, players, and I think you'll see the same lineup. And it's tough for them because they're going to play their third game in seven days as well. So I think fatigue will be a factor for those guys also. Um, I think it can only help if we win the games. We need to, yeah, and, and keep us. You know, right up there with the leadership. I think that's the number one priority. I think that's why Montreal is far more important than the Columbus Crew MLS game in the Open Cup on Wednesday. And you'll see a lineup that reflects that. We need to get the three points, and I want us to get top of the league.